Welcome to our segment chatting with the filmmakers of remembrance at this year's 2024 Nietzsche Bay Foundation's Films of Remembrance. We are honored to speak with Ryan Kawamoto and Darren Ray, whose films are being shown at this year's Films of Remembrance. Ryan's film, Removed by Force, The Eviction of Hawaii's Japanese Americans During World War II, tells the story of 1,500 Americans of Japanese ancestry who were evicted from their homes by the U.S. government throughout the territory of Hawaii, but not incarcerated or sent to detention facilities. Ryan, a veteran of documentary producing, shares his motivation to tell this story. What got me started on the project Removed by Force is about a dozen or so years ago, I worked on another documentary. It was called The Untold Story, Interment of Japanese Americans in Hawaii during World War II, uh, which actually played at the uh, uh, Films of Remembrance a few years back. And um, at that point, I met Bill Koneko, who explained about these unique cases in Hawaii where there were um, Americans of Japanese ancestry who were not sent to camp, but they were evicted from their homes and businesses, and many of them never returned. So this was but a small chapter in a longer uh, one hour film. And years later, Bill approached me and said, uh, and this is Bill Koneko. So years later, Bill Koneko approached me and said, hey, I'm writing a manuscript that I've been working on for about 20, 25 years. You know, would you like to make a documentary? And I said, yes, I think this is a very important story that we should tell uh, because very little people know about these 1,500 people in Hawaii that were evicted during the war. When I first started uh, getting into the research that Bill Koneko had done on uh, these 1,500 people that were evicted in Hawaii during World War II. Um, you know, I didn't know a whole lot about the story. And it just shocked me to learn that it was it was not just one or two areas. It was 23 geographical areas across, at that time, the territory of Hawaii. So that was pretty shocking to me. And um, what really moved me was, you know, just the, just the, the, the stories of, you know, the heartbreak and some of the tragedy that befell some of the, some of the, people who were evicted, you know, losing their homes, losing their being displaced. Um, and then during redress, not being eligible for redress of all things. Uh, but on the flip side, what was really inspiring was the young volunteers from the Sansei generation that stepped in and helped them win their redress cases all through the 90s, all the way to the very end of redress. One of the things that I'd like people to come away with watching this film is that, you know, individuals can make a difference. In the story that we tell, uh, the people who are the AJAs that were evict the AJAs that were evicted from their homes during World War II and businesses, you know, they weren't eligible for redress in the '90s. But volunteers stepped forward. Many of them are very young attorneys who are very inexperienced or very young in their careers, and they they just fought for what they felt was right and they won and so it really shows that people can make a difference people can change and um you know justice can be served so whenever there's an injustice you know we hope that people will speak out people will stand up and people will do what's right next we catch up with darren haruo ray writer director of nisei in between filming on set nisei follows the journey of two japanese american brothers during world war ii Darren talks about his inspiration for his film. Um, you know, I am Japanese American, fourth generation, and I always grew up with stories about the internment camps in the 442nd through my, my grandparents. And I never really realized how unknown that was, like outside of our community. And so I always went through life, you know, going to these reunions and festivals and events and, and not really I think fully appreciating like the sacrifices that were made and what what that generation went through. I say this film is sort of a stepping stone for someone who doesn't know these stories and kind of use this as a platform to dive in even deeper into, you know, World War II history and just learning about, you know, your own family's history and stuff like that too. I think World War II in general and, you know, most 
views through filmmaking. You know, you talk about like all the John Wayne films you talk about. I mean, Steven Spielberg, that was an anti-war film, but it still very much is as, you know, America coming in, the shining victors coming to fight the, the, the evil. And so, like I said, again, obviously, like I grew up with these stories and, and my family being part of it, but I don't think people realized, you know, what was happening back home. And so kind of having that dichotomy of you have these 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 people, you know, sacrificing their lives, willing to do this for a country that doesn't consider them, you know, citizens, that doesn't consider them American anymore, even though they were born here. That was like, I knew it as a kid, but it, it really didn't hit me until like I really started diving into this film because, you know, these are 18, 19 year old, you know, people just sat, like signing up, volunteering, willing to go and fight for the country that literally pulled their revoked their citizenship. And so it's just trying to comprehend that and put it in a frame that, you know, champions them. I think, you know filmmaking in, in general let's be honest there we take liberties and it, it is romanticized because that's you know a narrative structure and people want to see it in that way um but i think it's also a useful tool in being able to shed light on the darker side of that and so i think you know my film does a good representation of showing the heroism showing the triumph showing the sacrifice and showing the, the bravery of these people but also showing the dark side of that and i think you need a balance of both like any director, Darren has a message for those who see his film. You know, I think when people watch my film, I think I want people to take away, like, first off, the world is messy, the world is complicated, and, and there's a lot of bad things that happen to people all the time. And, and I think we just have to remember that there are good people in this world, and there are heroes. There are courageous people. There are people that are willing to sacrifice themselves or put themselves or put the greater good above themselves. And so I want people to itself use this as motivation and use it as triumph. You know, I think uh, good men come from bad times. And I think that is prevalent even to today. And so I want people to watch this and feel inspired and know that even like in the darkest of moments, there are there are good people out there. You can see Darren's film as part of the 2024 Films of Remembrance program, War on Citizenship, and you can see Ryan's film as part of the Untold Stories Removed by Force program. Ticks are available at 2024.filmsofremembrance.org. We'll see you there.